What is going on guys? Slick B here. Post commentary Slick B here. I didn't want to say guys. I had this uh, idea. I was like, I was going to say, what up you lovely bunch of coconuts? So how are, how are you coconuts doing today? Uh, hopefully this is Saturday when you're seeing this, if everything goes to plan. I should have a video for tomorrow as well. Late night in the studio, it's 2.30 a.m. Uh, we're still making these videos happen. I had a little bit slip up today with the T34 video. I think I spoke of that on today's video. It's Tuesday when I'm talking. It's crazy. Internet is crazy, man. But uh, some of you are sighing. Another leopard video slick. I know it's different, but it's a crazy occasion. I'm in a squad with uh, Orange, and that never happens. We didn't speak. We did play together, though. It was all tame. Uh, it, to... You know, I I'm going to be 100% honest. I just don't feel like fighting with anybody anymore. Uh, being sarcastic and a prick to people is fun, uh, but it's more of a fun thing when, uh, when you're bored. And, you know, it's dragged on too long, in my opinion. So that's just consider it me moving on for right now. You know what I mean? I, I, I just don't give a fuck. All right, so that's out of the way. That'll answer those questions. Regardless, another leopard video, I know, so you understand the occasion. But uh, this was some smart leopard play. I did post commentary. I just recorded these videos without speaking. Uh, I was just listening to some music and, uh, you know, just playing the game. Like, I know how to play the game. And it turned out to be very good leopard gameplays. I think I had three aces out of the four or five games that I played. Um, and uh, I think this game, this uh, I don't show any deaths in this clip, but I think this game ended up being a one plane, seven tank, and three deaths game, and then uh, the game after this was, I think, four or five kills, and maybe one death, and then I had another one, I think, in here that was another seven and one. Uh, like one play and seven kills and three deaths. It, usually what would happen would I, I would get an ace in one of the leopard spawns, uh, get a, at least one or two kills with the Horton, and then spawn again in a leopard, and that would just be the end of the game. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about playing on Corellia. Now, we've had issues. Uh, not me, but not saying that that's a bad thing. People have told me they've had issues playing the leopard and uh, a lot of the reasons people have issues playing the Leopard are the stock grind. When you play the stock Leopard with APDS or Hash, it's not really the most enjoyable experience. And that's because you can't destroy people from every angle. When you have heat, you can destroy people from whatever angle they give you. Uh, nine, I would say nine times out of 10, maybe 9.5 times out of 10, you can one shot a tank from almost any spot they see you, or you see them. Uh, because you can always, almost always hit an ammo rack through penetration. So that's the first thing that trips people up, is the, uh, the stock ammo. Now on top of the stock ammo, this tank, again, is a, it doesn't have anything that leads up to it that will teach you how to play this tank 100%. The Panther II will start to get the, the wheels turning, and you'll start to think, yeah, 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 maybe I get it. It's, it's a fast medium. The Leopard is just that fast medium mentality on steroids. It is faster, it has better gun depression, better turret rotation, a fast reload. It has everything that the Panther II does and more. And that really trips people up. It's like, uh, let's just say, it's like riding a tricycle and then you you get a, uh, like a, mo or maybe it's like going from a moped to a motorcycle, let's say. So they're pretty similar, and they'll teach you some things about it, but you got to do everything to the extreme with the Leopard. It's just so much more of, of a vehicle. And then when you, it, when you utilize its speed and maneuverability and uh, how fast the gun reloads, and you, when you use all that correctly, you will get monster games like this back to back to back just because you're there first. You're going to be there first. You're doing it all first. Um, the gun stabilization, especially on the A1, A1, is super helpful for just wrecking people's days. You see that snapshot. I mean, I don't know if that is a quote-unquote snapshot on the M47, but I probably wouldn't have had the gun elevation 
um, speed to hit him before he shot me in most other vehicles. So I had that going for me. Also, the reverse speed on this tank is phenomenal. Uh, something that the Type 61, I'm still trying to deal with. So in terms of tips for the Leopard, I don't even know what I'm gonna name this video, but this is how I'm feeling right now in terms of post-com. Uh, in terms of tips for the Leopard, I would just, I, what I want you guys to do if you're having trouble with the Leopard is to really just stress test it. That's what you have to do. You have to push the limits. Uh, you could try to play like I play, and I mean, I, I would say that's decent. I have a lot of success in the Leopard, but I would say you need to feel comfortable in your own tank. Uh, and also, if it's not working for you, maybe just accept the fact that you're not that type of player yet, and it's going to take some time of really, really ironing it out, maybe drop down to a lower tier and really figure it out. Because I know that there are certain tanks in the game that I'm terrible at, but I'm good at this tank. <laughs> you know, this is like one of the tanks in the game that I'm actually good in. And a lot of people will say, well, Slick, it's an easy tank. But I mean, if it's that easy of a tank, there's, there really aren't that many people who get aces back to back like I do. And I'm not saying that like I'm the best player ever, but what I'm saying is most of the people who tell me that the Leopard's an easy tank are the people who die by it. They're not the people who play it constantly. So, I'll, and don't get me wrong, I'm not defending the Leopard. I still think it's like, the best tank of the game, but that's besides the point. So yeah, uh, I would say stress test it. Don't be afraid to die in it. Oh, excuse me. There's two of them, so if you're gonna ruin stats, might as well just get good at the first Leopard, and then when you get the A1A1, you're just gonna be like, bada bing, bada boom. You know exactly what it is. Uh, but that's, that would, I would say that'd be my best guess. And then the, uh, the next thing that is super crucial for the Leopard, and any tank for that matter, is really learning the maps. When I get back from New York, uh, I'm gonna start going over maps and spots that I use on maps very heavily. Like this spot right here is a very successful spot, especially for the Leopard, because you get there first. When you can get anywhere first before the enemies spawn in or get there themselves, it's phenomenal. And you can get a ton of success. You see, I hit the ZSU off the spawn. I hit this T44. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm checking. I see another ZSU right there. Switch over to him, shoot, because I saw that the Chieftain shot. That's three tanks out of the game immediately. Um, now, of course, that's like an AA and whatnot, but still. I put another shot in the Chieftain, take out the Gunners. You're just harassing people, just being a real dickhead up here, and it's such a good spot. So I would say stress test your tank, push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. What's that, uh, that one anime song that everybody uses? I can't think of it right now. Um, but yeah, just push your tank to the limit and, and do things that you wouldn't normally do and just try it. Shoot on the move. Get out of your comfort zone. And then when you start to do crazy things like that, it starts to fall into the groove. You'll start to just do fine and normal with the tank and not having as much issues. Now, this is the uh, real kicker because this is kind of going to contradict what I said. But when you have a stock Leopard, I would say do those things anyway, but just realize that when you have the heat, you'll be killing the tanks. Because when you don't have heat and you're quick firing and sniping and stuff like that with APDS, <laughs> you're not really gonna pull off shots like the one you just saw there. Like you can't penetrate the front of a T-44 at that angle without heat. It's almost ridiculous. Uh, you could do it with Hesh, but then again, you're gonna have to be switching on the fly and stuff like that. So you get what I'm saying? I, I hope I'm not making too little sense to you guys. I, I do hope that you kind of get it, kind of understand. And uh, for the remainder of the video, I'm just gonna kind of go through my mindset of what I'm doing in this situation, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and then maybe that'll help you guys learn a different way by kind of showing you. So we're on top of this mat, or rock in Corellia, and what I like to do is I just look around without peeking the tank out. I use as much as the third person camera as I possibly can before deciding to move or not. Now, I knew I was up here, I got four kills up here, and I was like, I'm gonna move anyway. So now we move down here, I see that uh, we have the other two guys down here chilling. Also, Donnie got really mad about this, that it was a kill steal and stuff. I mean, he shot the guy a couple a couple times and I was like, well, if you can't kill him after a couple of times, I'm just gonna shoot it too. Uh, I saw that I bounce. he shot him three times I think now, so I just find the, that lower plate and just shoot it, just take him out. Now, 
I'm gonna move around the corner. You see that I stop a little bit before I peek around. I see that it's a chieftain. I was I had a head of steam and I rammed him on accident and bounced a shot. That could have easily been the end of the game, uh, soaking that shot there. But luckily, I think the chieftain might have been shooting hash and he hit my mantlet and it didn't go through. So we'll just think, praise the sun on that one. So now when we're debate <laughs> when we're dealing with a chieftain. And I think it's a T-54, but the Chieftain's the deadly tank of the situation. It has the gun depression, it has the really good turret. Bounce some of my shots. I uh, take out his cannon barrel, and when he backs up, I push forward knowing that he can't reload as fast as me and try to take him out. Now I see the T-54 is here. I go for the usual shot. Since it's up top, it can't hit the ammo rack. So the reason for that is he probably used the top set of ammo. I should have aimed lower right off the bat there. That shot, if I aimed a little bit lower, would have killed him. So I decided here I wasn't hitting the ammo rack, so I put one right through the center of the lower plate, hoping I'd kill the driver and the gunner, and I did. And uh, that's he's history. That's how it works. So, you know, most of those situations are just pretty easily dealt with. A chieftain hold down is a pretty big issue even if you're shooting heat just because you almost can't reach an ammo rack if he has the proper loadout you can't reach an ammo rack through the turret uh, with a heat shell the heat doesn't have the splash of an APHE or whatnot so you need to hit the left side of the turret that's where the gunner and the commander are just so they can't shoot back at you um, or try to get a shot trap in like I did around the top side of the uh, mantlet you can get the, the heat to hit something hard and splash down and hit the ammo racks. So that's that's about it. Um, so now I, I realize that those two guys are dead. I wasn't gonna drive across the map to go towards their spawn. I was gonna cut across through the middle and see if I could find anything in the middle. And uh, it looks like everybody is dead and that's the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this leopard video. It was a little different than what I'm used to with these tanks. I usually just talk and be goofy and stuff like that. I hope you learned something. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend so far. I'm just spending time with my fam. I'll be in the comment section, so feel free to go down there and I'll try to comment to you guys as soon as possible. So see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.